Good morning, everybody. It's very early. It's like 6.30 in the morning. But today is going to be a great day. I'm going to go for breakfast first. And then we're going to deal with the monkeys. But first, I'm going to have to take out this lady. She's waiting to get out. So I'm going to take her for a walk. In the meantime, why don't you... Hit the like button, click the subscribe button, and enjoy. I just arrived at a place where you can eat one of my favorite types of breakfast, which is karamchin. Or as the Westerners sometimes say, the Thai spaghetti. Let's go and have a look.
wow that food brought me to a different level it is so good I mean so fresh these noodles are so fresh all these different vegetables to put on top of it so many choices too many choices and the service very friendly service unbelievable and the setting I mean you're in the middle of Phuket town and you don't even notice it there's no cars around it's very very quiet over there it's, it's perfect mornings like this to sit outside it's perfect you can sit inside as well of course when it rains but outside it's perfect very very beautiful friendly people what more do you want and for the price come on I ordered two different noodle dishes the first one so you got the noodles and the first two different curries was Tai Pa which is a spicy fish curry together with Kenki Yuan which is a green curry and it was with chicken it was so good I put all the different vegetables on top it was so good that I had to order another one and the second one instead of the fish curry the Tai Pa I ordered one with Kang Nua which is the beef curry also mixed with the Kang Yuan Kai which is the Greek curry with chicken Again, all the toppings on top, or nearly all, and an iced tea. All that for 130 baht? Come on. Well, I'm stuffed for the whole day, I suppose. Let's prepare everything, what we need to prepare, to deal with the monkeys. Before we're gonna go into the monkey dealing business, I need to um, explain you a few things. A few weeks ago I bought some food, which was, it was actually for my daughter. And it was stolen by one of those. I've got a picture from it, you can see it. So I had two weeks to think about it, how to deal with that. And I think I came up with a perfect solution. Check it out, it's all gonna be good and fun. Hi. This is Kunsanti. I'm waiting for my friend come to pick up me to my home. Okay. This is Miss Lily and she was so nice to give me permission to feed the monkeys. Hey! <laughs> This is how we're going to deal with stealing monkeys because I think they're hungry. I was just talking to somebody about monkeys. He also told me they eat vegetables. So I bought some. I'm gonna have to break them up in pieces and put them together in the big bag with the pineapples. Of course, I also bought bananas. Everybody was waiting for bananas. So I bought three bunches of bananas. I'm going to put them all now in one bag. No monkeys here. for about half an hour and just behind me you cannot see it 
like 50 meters, there's the first monkey appearing. Let's see if he comes. the story is if somebody steals food from you maybe he's hungry give him some more in Thailand they say if you do good things to another good things will come back to you Okay, I'm back in the... <laughs> Stop it. I'm back in the garden. <laughs> with my dog. It was a great day. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and keep watching. See you on the next one.